What? Dude, just go faster. Like, I... Dude, just land on Spike. Uh, mm, well, new best. Pass a crate platform, get immediately killed by a squid that would have just ran over me, just flew over me if I had let it be, but I didn't know, and I panicked, and I died because of that. That's the whole sentence that I just said. Out loud, so that I notice the waveform, so I know where to find it when I have to dig through this tomorrow. See, like I'm going just to do. Don't do that. Know how that works? Well, new new personal best. Speaking out loud, make sure I include this in the edit. How does that work? Are you really supposed to jump in the middle of the munchers? How? Uh, really? And then like just hop right out like immediately? Does that work? That was almost impressive. Can I just do this? See, the other one I can see how you would fit underneath, but... Uh, that one, I mean, last time I just waited, it didn't work. That's sort of why I want to be big, is just for that one part. Because, like I said, I don't think I can... Realistically... Like, re-get my power up if it falls here. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting pretty... Okay at that. Uh... The timing, like, was it possible to... That is so cool. Alright, do, 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 do. I can actually do the oh sh What how did I do this the, f the time I did it? Like I don't mm. that that's fine. Okay, you can just rush these. want to have one second to look at the screen. I mean, I had a second, to be fair. If we're being literal, I did have one second, so. Gotcha there, cow cow. You got got. Get you full like a feel. Spooner is, but on purpose. Does it still count? Probably. <laughs> Not so much on purpose, but, uh, owning it. Whoa. Like, the ultimate strategy, I feel like, would be just... Getting there with a hit. Well... I need 
get it, I'm gonna keep it here. And yeah, that's not half. How do you do this big? Ah, I maybe I should have let the tall one fall. That's really unfortunate. It's very easy to get hurt by accident. Hmm, that makes me sad though. Just move forward. Yeah, see, like, sometimes it's just the placement is bad, and it's like, uh, I went too early. Don't start moving as soon as you hear the doink. Uh, after you hear the kicking sound, you're gonna get, like, one bounce still. Alright, one last attempt. One last real attempt. In this practice run, that's right, every footage I've seen up to now has been practice. Monday night, I'm waiting for my Monday night Call of Cthulhu game to start. I don't know, if I got time to burn. Could use it to, like, you know, do something passive, like watch a stream or something. Or I can just decide to keep playing. Mario World at a level that is probably like five notches higher than my comfort zone. And, uh... I mean, I have some usable footage out of this recording. Like, I have feel that I have been getting a lot more consistent in a lot of sections, especially here. I got to the disco run several times, including with two hits a couple of times. That's great. Like, but like, I'm fine. Like, to me, as far as I'm concerned, the hit is for this. I know, that's not true. I need to conserve a hit for the gray mass. But, I mean, the thing with that is that... That's stupid, though. Like, it killed both? It just killed both! They need to do the same. Alright, great mess. I think that's what you need to do. I think you seriously are supposed to jump from the red switch to the middle and jump off immediately. There I could tell I was not centered well. That amount of precision, to me, is absolutely insane. That deep in. But, I mean, I got better today. So, again, this was practice. Hopefully, tomorrow morning I can latch on to this momentum and, uh, win? That'd be nice. Oh, well, alright, that's fair. Hey there, everyone! This is Alcow playing, uh, wh whoops, okay, I gotta get back into this. Playing nonsense, we're here. Pythagorean cave zone plant mean. Uh, yeah, so you just saw a selected few important clips from my practice session yesterday where I have uh, improved my, my personal best a few times. Uh, yeah, it was like about an hour and a half, and yeah, like, I'm start to get a lot more regularly at the- not as often as I would like, but a lot more regularly I get to- I'm just gonna restart- at the disco surfing zone. Am I gonna beat it today? I'd like to, but... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to get too fast. Oh, flarb. But yeah, see like two minutes in, and already I'm I'm back here, so. Oh boy. You don't say. All right, I guess I'm just... Yeah, that's not gonna work. It worked. <laughs> that really shouldn't have, though. All right, we're back to the gray mass, so... Uh... Okay, well... Frame rate death. 
and die here. Hey, new PB. So if I do get to the disco ride part with both hits, I can probably tank the whole thing. Yeah, there are two enemies, too many enemies, and with the encroaching death, yeah, Super Nintendo can just barely heal, heal that, hold it together in a verb tense that doesn't exist. Dude! Yeah, like, whatever. Inside a pipe is the hardest single thing to do in Super Mario World. That I've said this before. Because you have to be centered on that thing. I don't know why Nintendo made pipes so capricious. But they are. Okay, so 16 minutes in, we are in right now. And we got to what is the conduit into the next phase, whatever it shall be. Pretty good sign. And yeah, the key is just get to get to this coast shell part with both hits. And then you're gonna be okay-ish. But you know, I still have plans for how to do things. Like I'm not gonna abandon as soon as I get hurt yet. But uh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very, very <laughs> tight landing spot. Oh, that's no good, though. I say confidently being wrong. Oh, that's hard! I mean, yeah, I wiggled a little bit too much to the right there, like, that's what happened. That's just what happened. Uh, you gotta stay steady, and, uh, I didn't. Like, an ideal... What? Come on! Like, the jump was, like, a lot of we- I guess I didn't- seriously did not have time to reach P-speed? Cause that was not a P-speed jump, and that's what I was expecting. Ah! I need... I need more practice there. Like, it's so stupid there. Like, you can clearly see the shell phase through the beetle during that moment only. I guess it's a transition from... Passive Beetle to Angry Beetle. They become invincible. Or I guess because they're only killable while they're like normal. Hmm. Maybe. Shoot. Yeah, no, my timing, my balance timing there was banned. Still don't do this very often. It's still super scary. Man! 
No! Hmm, do I want to take the hit? Yes, that's just what that results in. <laughs> I mean, it makes it free. See here, it's like the gap between... I need to go straight up and then curve into the right one, but later than I have in those shots where I died just hitting a muncher. Like, that is... Uh, whatever, I'll do it eventually again. I'm sure I've done it before once. Whew. I was not holding the button anymore. I sure. I guess I was. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that part feels like garbo. I mean, consider the fact that the frame rate dies. Like that's not an emulation thing. It's not a PC thing. You can tell because the music stays normal. That is how it would be on a real Super Nintendo. That's so cool when that happens, when the shell just kills them both. Like, I don't know how that can possibly happen, but it's not the first time I've seen it. Whoa! Ah, uh, what? Wait, no, why didn't you bounce properly, like normal? Why was that different? Normally I just go across without having to press anything for the blow ones, and there you fell in the thing. I guess because I bounced too... on the front of the turtle, because my initial jump was... different than normal. Nice jumping there, Mario. Truly, you are the hero the Mushroom Kingdom needs. At some point, it's just like, stop. Oh, the kick sound there didn't play. That No! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! You mean? You mean? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. 62 minute on the dot when I said that. So 62 minute and six seconds when I. <sighs> <laughs> what a run at the end. That felt pretty good, I'm gonna be real. <sighs> Clockwise, I started with like 3 o'clock. Then we fin, and well, today we did like 8 o'clock. Next time we're gonna go at noon, night, midnight, 12. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> I was told by people in the know that in spite of Mr. Treasure Chest here being a five-star hotel, 
I have done the hardest single events that the game proposes. So I'm gonna guess that treasure's gonna be maybe mostly long? I mean, it's a multi-person. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I have developed such thick calluses on the tip of my thumbs. It is, uh, distracting.